This is the Alienware Horizon Utility Backpack. It's the largest size model amongst the Alienware Horizon Backpack series, designed for us to throw everything we need in there. What I really like about this backpack is that it's super practical and easy to use. All the zippers are really smooth. And this backpack has a rigid shell while the weight is still fairly light when it's empty. The base is leather so it doesn't stain easily and it stands on its own when it's fully packed and also when it's empty. And there are Alienware brandings everywhere over this bag. This front pocket is the best part I love about this backpack. There are three sections in this top compartment. The first section is lined with smooth fleece material for us to put glass items like our smartphones or sunnies. The middle section is an RFID protected zipper pocket inside this top compartment. Yes, a zipper pocket within a zipper pocket. The inner pocket is actually a very handy compartment for me to throw in my card holder wallet and a spare pair of earbuds. And I know it's securely zipped within this inner pocket. And because of the longitudinal design of this pocket, all my small items and tech gears are easily within reach. Like when I put this backpack on the floor beside my work desk. Or when I put the bag on a chair at the cafe. And also when the bag is on the footrest of my car. I can easily get my wallets or earbuds or anything from this top pocket. The accordion design of this three-section pocket has sides that actually prevents the item from falling out when it's unzipped. There are lots of such well thought out detailed designs of this bag. And when I thought the pocket is full already, I can still chuck in my house keys and car keys. Now let's move on to the other two external pocket. Typically, the external pockets of most other bags are across the bag. It's very seldom we see vertical pocket design like this. These two unique pockets are really good for charging adapters, cables, power banks, as well as water bottle. This is a large 800ml water bottle. And this tall external pocket easily swallow it like nothing. Now, it's also because of these two pockets that I feel this backpack design is kind of ugly. I know, I know, it's really subjective and ugliness lies in the eyes of the beholder. I mean, beauty, eh, whatever. Yeah, whatever the case is, I don't really mind. I'm someone who likes practicality over the looks and aesthetic of a product. Now, do you think this bag looks ugly because of these two external vertical pockets? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm not done with these two pockets yet. The design of these two external pockets allow the bag to expand and collapse a bit when it's not fully loaded. I think it's the shape of the front of this hard shell bag that allows the two external pockets to compress into the main compartment when we are carrying less. So it's flat and not so bulky. And when we expand it and pop out the two pockets, the main compartment then has lots of room for us to put things in. By the way, you are watching Sky Perspective channel. If you like this video so far, consider subscribing for more. Okay, now let's get back to the main compartment. This Alienware Horizon Utility Bag is a huge laptop bag for 17-inch laptops. There are two laptop compartments and they are also lined with soft velvety fleece material but only on one of the sides though. Now I have to say, they are both very well cushioned. It's hard to show you this, but the bottom of the laptop compartment doesn't go all the way down to the bottom of the bag. So when we put the bag down on the floor, the laptop won't hit the ground. Even the base of the main compartment has a thin layer of cushion. I like well thought out design like this. Speaking of well thought out design, the pen holder compartment is flat when not in use and the slanting of the opening makes it really easy to put pens in. I use it to store my ASUS laptop stylus pen 
a pencil, and an eraser, and is conveniently located at the site for easy access. Now there is also a flat zipper compartment and two elastic netting pockets. I'll just keep loading the bag to show you how it looks when it's full. Let me pop in my two laptops first, and then the common things I bring with me to the office, like my cup, water bottle, hoodie jacket. And by the way, this is my new Dell full-size wireless keyboard and mouse combo. I'll be testing this and making a video on this soon. And this is my Jabra headset for video calls and also my Sony Hion 3 headphones when I want to enjoy a bit of music. And notice there are still so much space in this backpack. Okay, let's take a look at how the handle braces the weight when it's almost fully packed. The handle design is actually a unique design, unlike conventional backpacks, where the handle is kind of built in as part of the bag. This handle is thin, but it looks like it's able to brace the weight pretty well. Now moving on to the shoulder strap. The shoulder straps have a really thick cushion. It's not the most comfortable shoulder straps I've used, I think it's because there is not enough curvature. But don't get me wrong, they are pretty decent and provide enough cushioning when the back is heavy. There is also a chest strap where we can buckle to pull the shoulder straps in just to make the carrying a little more comfortable when the back is fully loaded. The shoulder strap adjustment is one of the easiest amongst all the backpack I've ever used before. There's a loop to prevent the loose end of the stripe from dangling. It's all these small little thoughtful designs that makes this bag very practical and easy to use. I don't know how many times I've said it in this video already, this bag has a lot of really thoughtful designs. Hope you've enjoyed this video. You take care and I'll see you in the next one.